swiftly, transforming the Egyptian landscape of higher education, striving to provide solid foundations and platforms for excellence in all aspects of higher education scientific research. The ministry envisages a reliable, supportive system to higher education, science, technology, and innovation that would produce graduates capable of competing at the regional and international levels and meeting national development requirements and ever-increasing societal needs and consistently enables researchers to produce knowledge transfer, localization, and marketing of technology efficiently and helps to strengthen cooperation with the local, regional, and global community. Through implementing a strategic met methodology to internationalization and building partnerships and network, creating bilateral agreements, participating in worldwide programs and organizations, facilitating students and staff mobility and improve the quality and relevance to labor market of education through transferring relationships with international ranking and accreditation bodies. Today is one of the pillars for such an expansion to happen and the beginning of the long road of innovative cooperation between Arizona State University and Galala University, together towards a bright start and ongoing cooperation. Again, we would like to welcome our partners from Arizona State and Santana Education to Egypt and to Galala University, where the future starts here. This is the slogan of GU and the mission to be achieved. I believe wholeheartedly that the outcomes of this Egyptian U.S. cooperation are a definite indicator that are still immense opportunities to mainstream this successful experience. So without further, I would like now to give the platform to His Excellency Ambassador Mu'taz Zahran, the Egyptian ambassador in Washington, D.C. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Excellency Minister uh, Professor Khaled Abdul Ghaffar, uh, Dr. Aydin Al Adawi, Dr. Ashraf uh, uh, Ghalid, Professor uh, uh, Michael Crow, Professor Doug Becker, dear friend, uh, dynamic Ambassador Cohen in Cairo. It gives me an honor and pleasure to join you today to celebrate the signing of the Topic of Reference Agreement between Egypt's Galala University and Arizona State University, setting the foundations for a fruitful partnership in higher learning. Galala University is situated 700 meters above sea level on the coast of the beautiful Red Sea at the heart of the Galala City, one of 14 ambitious unisport cities being deployed and constructed in Egypt and Galala University is the first ever start university in Egypt. In uh, today's increasingly interconnected world, this uh, partnership with Arizona State University will undoubtedly solidify Galala uh, University's global perspective and allow it to deliver cutting-edge education in an international environment. Under this uh, partnership, the two, the two universities are set to offer dual degree programs and cooperate in several key fields of study, including but not limited to engineering, sciences, media, and arts, business, and pharmacology. Now, beyond the partnership's benefits to both the universities, their faculties, and students, the agreement in ensuring that the highest quality uh, of education is available to our most valuable treasure and resource, our youth, who are the core uh, pillar of Egypt's comprehensive development strategy, Vision 2030. In enacting this vision, Egypt seeks to enhance the quality of higher education, increase Egypt's international competitiveness, and ultimately foster a creative and innovative society that is active in the advancement and production of science, technology, and knowledge. Now, this entails ambitious targets of having 10 universities among the top 500 around the world by 2030, while increasing the number of international students in Egypt by 50%. Now, as someone who has uh, lived and has profoundly uh, uh, 
uh, has been profoundly shaped by studying, uh, living and working abroad in different countries throughout my entire life. I firmly believe in the importance of fostering connections between our two countries, peoples, and by means of education, cooperation, and fomenting links between educational institutions, this becomes uh, a much even a promising reality. The partnership we celebrate today between these two universities marks one step further along this promising road and the Egyptian embassy here in Washington will continue to prioritize the promotion of such uh, partnerships. Now in closing, my sincere congratulations to the University of Galera and Arizona State University and I look forward to watching this partnership grow and flourish over the coming years and produce invaluable fruits to our youth community and the relations that join our two friendly nations. So thank you very much. Thank you so much Mr. Ambassador. Ambassador. And now the speech of Ambassador Jonathan Cohen, United States Ambassador to Egypt. Good morning to those of you in the United States and good afternoon myself here to those of you here in Cairo. Uh, how wonderful to be following my, my good friend Ambassador Zahlan on the program today. Uh, Ambassador, Minister Abdul Ghaffar, Dr. Pro, Dr. Haider, Dr. Adawi, and Mr. Becker. I'm delighted to be with you this afternoon during this new exciting chapter of cooperation between Egypt and the United States. I commend Arizona State University, Al Galala University, and Sintana for making this university linkage a reality, the first of its kind between an American institution and a public university in Egypt. I anticipate that this will chart the course for other such dual degree programs, university partnerships, and exchanges of knowledge and research, hopefully with more coming very soon. The joint academic degrees provided by Arizona State and Al-Balala universities, first in engineering and business administration, and subsequently in other disciplines, will build on the academic strengths of both institutions and provide a more globalized education to Egyptian young professionals. It will also leverage Arizona State University's model of partnering with prominent universities in host countries to make American higher education accessible to students outside of the U.S. I also commend the Ministry of Higher Education and Scientific Research for supporting the partnership between Arizona State and al I want to thank His Excellency the Minister for his personal efforts to further this collaboration. Egypt's future depends on the education of its youth. The dual degree programs offered through this university linkage align them with Egypt's strategy of providing high quality education and training, of empowering Egyptian students to build technical skills in crucial fields, and of helping Egypt's young people, its most important resource, to think critically and innovatively and to deepen their cross-cultural understanding. We share, we share in Egypt's goals of supporting innovation, education, and job creation for its youth. Their success will be Egypt's success. Education enhances economic competitiveness and equips students for the ever-changing needs of the modern knowledge-based economy. Over the past four decades, the United States government has invested in Egypt's future through education, working at all levels to strengthen education in this country. We've built more than 2,000 schools, trained over 100,000 teachers, and provided more than $350 million in scholarships and academic exchanges. We've supported over 70,000 students in secondary and vocational schools so they can succeed in the labor force. We've facilitated university linkages, virtual courses, and partnerships with American academic institutions, and the establishment of dual degree, degree programs like this endeavor between Arizona State and al Galala universities. Their cooperation further reinforces the long-standing linkages between the United States and Egypt. Through their collaboration in academic training, research, and professional development, Arizona State and al Galala will help foster connections and cultivate relationships between future Egyptian and American leaders we're pleased to support this partnership that will create opportunities for students to benefit from American higher education opportunities. Uh, opportunities for Egyptian young people to succeed academically and professionally. And opportunities for Egypt's economy and its young professionals to thrive. Again, congratulations and thank you for your attention. Thank you so much, Mr. Ambassador.
And now we move to Mr. Doug Becker, Chief Executive Officer, Santana Education. Doug, the floor is yours. Thank you so much. It's really a pleasure to be here and exciting to see the product of almost two years of collaboration and planning. I'd like to start by thanking Your Excellencies, the Egyptian Ambassador to the U.S. and the U.S. Ambassador to Egypt. What an honor to have you present to mark this important occasion. And of course, I want to thank the Minister who has been a steadfast supporter uh, going all the way back almost two years and to his visit to Arizona State in January of 2020 when I had the honor of meeting him. Thank you so much, sir. You've been an unbelievable supporter of this vision, both in the creation of the national universities like Galala, but of course also in the design and uh, implementation of a program as ambitious as that which we will announce today. Also want to thank the leadership of Galala University, including the Vice Chair Adal Adawi. Uh, we've had a chance to engage many times in the preparation for today. I'd like to start also by acknowledging my friends and colleagues from Arizona State. We have President Michael Crow, we have Provost Nancy Gatravas, and we have the Vice President of Global Academic Initiatives, and my uh, daily colleague, uh, Stephanie Lindquist. So thank you all for being here today as well. The creation of Sintana, which was really developed as a partnership uh, with Arizona State and with the support of President Crow, was really intended for exactly an opportunity such as that which we are working on today. Uh, this is an organization, Santana, designed to help new universities, ambitious universities, to achieve very ambitious goals. And uh, it's based on the creation of a prior global network that attained great success. I had the chance to start that other organization, but now to work with Arizona State to create a new alliance, what we call the Santana Alliance. Uh, today we have seven affiliates of the world in the Santana Alliance on our way to, uh, it's planned to be more than 50 uh, affiliates in this alliance. These members of the alliance not only uh, are able to participate in the normal bilateral collaboration between any two universities that you might normally expect, but in much more deep and difficult uh, implementations and initiatives such as that which is being discussed today. The creation of a dual degree between two great universities based in different countries and with different regulatory and academic frameworks is not a small job and part of our work at Sintana is to bridge the needs of these two different organizations in order to make sure that we have a successful project. Further, we're able to actually engage in the support and development of a new university like Galala to support them with the experts in strategy, in enrollment, in academic implementation, and the cross-border initiatives that are envisioned with Arizona State. In our case, we will have full-time people based at Galala and our company headquartered at Arizona State to ensure a seamless and continuous success in our partnership together. So for us, this is a great honor uh, this will be the uh, seventh or eighth uh, new affiliate in this ambitious network and uh, we think perhaps the most exciting and important because of the ambition for Galala University, the minister's vision for the national universities and this concept of a fourth generation university or a smart university like Galala University and the support of the Egyptian government which raises this project to a level of importance and opportunity that we think will bear fruit for years to come. I'm incredibly excited to be a part of an initiative that starts in the, the powerful foundation of friendship between the countries of the United States and Egypt. And with the basis of that support, that history of collaboration and friendship, I'm very confident that our partnership will be greatly successful in the future. That our network will be not only a success as a network, but specifically a success because of the participation of Galala in it. And of course, for us, a global network envisioned with Arizona State, the most innovative university in the United States, at the very center of our alliance. So thank you all for your participation and support, and we look forward to great success and much more friendship in the future. Thank you so much, Doc. It was a long journey. And now, moving to uh, Professor Ashraf Haider, President of Galala University. He 
His Excellency, Professor Dr. Khaled Abu Ghaffar, Minister of Higher Education and Scientific Research. His Excellency, Ambassador Jonathan Cohen, Ambassador of the United States of America in Egypt. His Excellency, Ambassador Mu'taz Zahran, Egyptian Ambassador in the United States and Culture Attaché of Egypt, Professor Dr. Muhammad Hamza. My dear friends, uh, Mr. Doc Becker, Chief Executive Officer of Sintana Education and Alliance Now, Professor Dr. Michael Crew, President of Arizona State University, and our colleagues, Vice President Professor Stefani, Professor Nancy Provost of Arizona State University, all our friends who worked hard to have this day come reality. Professor Ayman Ashur, Deputy Minister of Higher Education and Scientific Research, and our dear professor, Dr. Adel Adel uh, uh, Al Adawi, former Minister of Health, Egypt, and Deputy Chairman of Yalala University Board of Trustees for his continuous support and efforts in the uh, lot of communication that we have been doing over the last period. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great honor for me to be here today to celebrate the signage of this collaborative activity and terms of reference between Galala University, Arizona State University, and Santana Education, and nowadays Santana Alliance. Actually, today is a crowning day for great efforts that has been done over the last two years. Today, we are starting the implementation of Arizona State University collaborative activities at Galala University. Today, we are establishing one of the most important presidential directions, that is to have collaborative dual degrees provided by Galala University according to international standards. One of the Egypt strategic goals in higher education was to develop a new national university, Galala University, an emerging state of art, higher education national university. A lot of efforts have been done over the last three years under the complete and continuous support of our minister, Professor Dr. Khaled Abdel Ghaffar, that aimed to provide our students with the highest level of learning skills and competitiveness, enabling them to compete nationally, regionally, and globally. We believe that together with Arizona State University and Santana Alliance, we'll be able to develop a unique collaboration to achieve our strategic goal of globalization by providing programs with a dual degree as an outcome. We ensure, we ensure that we are going to work coherently with our partners in the United States of America to explore opportunities. And as I always say, it's a golden chance for all of us to start a very distinguished partnership between Egypt and the United States of America. During the coming weeks, we will complete all requirements that enables us to start the implementation of programs in the fields of engineering, computer sciences, business and administrative sciences. Also, in the near future, we hope other programs will join the track in the fields of art and design, media production, and advanced basic research. Sintana Alliance would also provide us with the expert managerial directions in the medical field especially medicine, clinical pharmacy, physical therapy, nursing, and allied health sciences. We hope this comes true in the very near future. This type of productive, challenging collaboration will also establish a platform for the, pre for the future of our graduates, allowing faculty exchange between American professors, exposing our students to the American system of higher education with the advanced learning technology, team-based learning, problem solving, and project-based education. Joint scientific research and projects is also a mutual interest in the near future. Moreover, I'm sure that integrating our system and the American system will create a very unique graduate who will be able to establish their own business and become young entrepreneurs, developing this, their startups, companies, sharing in the future of digital transformation and gaining all capacities and capabilities of Industry 4.0 and smart technology enterprises. Finally, I would like to thank all of our distinguished delegates for this dream, for having this dream come true. Thank you everybody and looking forward for a strong 
very strong collaboration. And as our, as we always say, the future starts here from Galala University, from Egypt, in collaboration with the United States of America. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you so much, Professor Ashraf. And we'll be joined online by uh, His Excellency Professor Adel Adawi, the Peter and former uh, Minister of Health. Dr. Adel, the floor is yours. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, your Excellency, Minister of Health. so much Professor Adawi. Uh, we'll move now to uh, Professor Dr. Michael Crow, President of Arizona State University. The platform is yours. Thank you, uh, Minister Gaffar. Nice to see you again. Uh, it has been uh, an honor uh, getting to know you and uh, the fact that we've been able to move this project together with Santana uh, and Galala University is uh, uh, an example of your tenacity uh, just to make these things happen. So we thank you very much, uh, Ambassador uh, Zaran and uh, Ambassador Cohen. Thank you for bringing our countries together, for helping our relationships to evolve, for helping uh, Egypt, which has been uh, you know, a mother country to uh, much of our civilization for thousands of years across uh, much of the world to bring us together and help us to work together is uh, no easy task that we appreciate. I appreciate your, your efforts. Uh, President Hader, uh, uh, it is an honor for us to be able to work with uh, uh, an emergent new uh, new generation uh, university in Egypt to be a part of uh, the process of building what uh, uh, will hopefully become Egypt's most uh, innovative university. And this is not easy since uh, Egypt uh, has uh, Al Hazar University, which has been in place since uh, 970 AD. So <clears throat> it's. Uh, quite a feat to be able to say that. So we're very excited to be a part of this. We're honored to be a part of uh, uh, working with Galala University, <clears throat> establishing the new trajectory, moving forward in the new directions and so forth. We see Galala University as uh, uh, an emergent 21st century, 22nd century, 25th century university because these universities will last for hundreds of years and this is now being built on a new model, a new model of innovation, a new model of cooperation, a new model of speed, a new model of technology, a new model of, uh, of uh, inclusiveness across the entire Egyptian population as well as bringing more students to Egypt uh, from the rest of the world and so we're very excited to be a part of this. We view uh, Galala as having uh, unbelievable, really unlimited potential uh, and we're very, very excited about that. We all know that higher education is essential to the further development of uh, uh, the civilizations on our planet. Uh, we have a hundred trillion dollar economy. There's no reason that we can't have a thousand trillion dollar economy. There's no reason that we can't bring economic development uh, uh, at high speed across the entire planet, sustainability across the entire planet. 
uh, all things that can help us to lay the foundation for the future that we would like to see that we can glimpse right now and we know that higher education is a key element of that not only in the production of new people new ideas but also new tools uh, President Hader, you talked about the notion of bringing together uh, researchers and uh, uh, new company spin-outs. Uh, what I can say is that that is what Arizona State University is all about. Uh, Ambassador Cohen, if you haven't been uh, uh, out to Arizona lately, we just decided to go ahead and build new things, to make new things happen. So we've constructed uh, America's most innovative university. We've grown our engineering school from 6,000 students to 25,000 students, the largest engineering school in the United States. We have found ways to bring students in from every family, every family background, every income level, uh, uh, every ethnic group, uh, bringing them all in and moving them forward uh, educationally, and so we're very excited about that. And at the same time as we became more egalitarian, we became more research intensive, and so now we're one of the top 10 universities on the planet uh, in terms of research uh, that doesn't have a medical school, and we work with many, many medical schools uh, 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 in our partnerships. And so we're very excited to be a part of the Centana uh, network, uh, building basically 21st century, high speed, highly innovative, technologically enabled, highly flexible, highly adaptive universities that can take on educational challenges at scale, can take on the building of solutions, technology spin outs, all these things, not just education, but education, research, all these things together. And so let me say in closing that uh, uh, President Hayner and to you, uh, Minister Gaffar, we pledge, and this is important, we pledge Arizona State University's commitment to this project uh, to be uh, to make it work, uh, to make certain that it works, uh, to really build a close alliance uh, between our two uni universities to demonstrate what universities can do to really lay the foundation for the future, both for new people that can be produced, new ideas that can be produced, new solutions that can be produced, and new uh, social and economic futures that can be outlined. So uh, thank you very much for this opportunity. We're really honored to be a part of this project and look forward to uh, every success. Thank you so much, Professor Crow, and really looking forward for your visit very soon to Egypt. And now, moving to His Excellency, Professor Khaled Abdel Ghaffar, Minister of Higher Education and Scientific Research. Your Excellency. Thank you very much. Uh, wow, that's, that's a great day. I think uh, we've been in a long journey together in achieving this uh, moment. Good morning to all of you at the United States, to our friends in Santana and our friends in Arizona State University, Ambassador uh, Jonathan Cohen, United States Ambassador to Egypt, our uh, great Ambassador Mu'taz Zahran, the Egyptian Ambassador to the USA, our dear friend and the great guy, Michael Crow, the President of Arizona State University, Professor Stephanie and Nancy, and uh, certainly Doug Becker, the Chief Executive Officer of Centana Education, and the most important uh, engineer of this uh, the foundation of this uh, important uh, uh, signing of, uh, of this contract, uh, Professor Adel Adawi, and our friends from Galala University, Professor Ashraf, and all our dear friends in Egypt. Uh, allow me at the beginning to start by thanking you all today for being here and uh, special thanks to our esteemed representatives from Arizona State University and Santana Education in the United States together with the United States Embassy in Cairo and your team ambassador and our Egyptian ambassador, ambassador and embassy in the Washington DC. It's a great pleasure to attend this important ceremony of signing this trilateral term sheet agreement between Galala University, Arizona State University, and Centana Education. But let me, go, let me take you back as uh, my great friend, uh, Professor Pro mentioned. I remember my visit to Arizona State University back on January 2020. That was pre-COVID-19. You know, now we, we talk about everything post-COVID and pre-COVID. So, so b before COVID started by a few weeks, uh, we, I had a great uh, tour and visit to uh, Arizona State University accompanied by uh, Professor Mohammed Samir Hamza, uh, our former uh, cultural attaché at the Egyptian Embassy in, in the United States of America. He, he's done a great job in, uh, in engineering and also in helping to implement this important partnership. And during that time, I had a great time and, and uh, an honor to meet with Professor Michael Crow, the president of ASU, and, and uh, I was greatly impressed by both the incredible ac accomplishment of the university under his leadership, as well as I began to understand why 
uh, and what Dr. Crow meant by his book, The New American University. What I saw at ASU was an extremely efficient institution graduating highly employable students, colleagues, and colleges that are producing great, impactful research and a close relationship with the community. During my visit to Arizona, I was also delighted to sign an MOU with ASU and Simtana to start our formal discussion for potential university partnership with Egyptian universities. This MOU back in January was the start of our current dialogue between Galala University, Arizona State University, and Simtana Education. Therefore, it comes as no surprise to me that when it was the time to start creating this relationship, institutions as Arizona State University and Simtana Education were our priority. We are honored to be opening such an alliance between Arizona and Simtana and Galala University in different fields as engineering, computer science, and business, and more to come. Moreover, along this long journey, and despite the COVID-19 pandemic, we are thankful to Professor Stephanie Linquist and Mr. Doug Becker and Professor Wadi Atea, whom we had several in-person and virtual meetings and discussions to discuss every tiny detail to reach this milestone of signing the term sheet agreement. And I thank them for their great effort in helping us achieving that. Collaboration is a hallmark of education, science, and research. We simply can't progress without it. Across disciplines, institutions, and borders, higher education and scientific research has experienced dramatic changes in recent years. There is no doubt that it should be viewed in the global context and not solely from the domestic point of view. We live in a time of constant change. The international economy is evolving. The employment market is shifting. And tomorrow's jobs demand different skills from jobs of today. I would like to use this occasion to review the rapid pace of developments over the last period and to set out a clear direction on a number of key issues the Ministry has adopted to reform the higher education sector. The Minister of Higher Education, with the support of the, board of the broader Egyptian government, has been steadily and swiftly transforming the Egyptian landscape of higher education and striving to provide solid foundation and platforms for excellence in all aspects of higher education as well as scientific research. We aim at offering a high quality education system as part of the National Sustainable Development Strategy, Egypt Vision 2030. The Egyptian Ministry of Higher Education and Scientific Research has expanded its establishment of new national universities, and we're talking about one of them today, and in turn expanded its research and search for a mutually beneficial partnership with prestigious international institutions in order to fulfill one of its key objectives, which is internationalization. One of the core functionalities of internationalization of an institution is to create a more complex network of knowledge, research, and technique, utilizing the experiences of others to create a whole that is greater than its individual parts. The United States of America and Egypt have cooperated closely for so many years as partners in different areas as well as for education, science, and research. The foundations for the success of this long-lasting scientific cooperation are mutual respect, common goals, and values. We hope that this partnership will provide high-quality education opportunities for qualified students, not only for Egypt, but for the Middle East, Africa, and internationally. We look, for, we look forward to the incredible work that lies ahead in the collaboration of the two universities, and we hope that this step will strengthen the ties between the two countries to all. And once again, thank you and congratulations. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. And now for the signing of the term sheet. To Russia. Thank
Professor Pro, if you can stand and show us the yes, thank you, professors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 